This is our Logan's Run city model. So we'll have a look at the various stages while we were making this thing. We've had a lot of fun doing it and you'll be able to see how we made the buildings and the various parts all from junk. We've been charged by some top secret government agent types to build a model of Logan's Run City. And we, Steve? Eh? Yes, we have to deny it. Eh? We have to protect the innocent. But this is our mission, and this is the Treasure Dome. We've got to build this pile of junk into a model of the city from Logan's Run. And that's our mission, and we've chose to accept it, haven't we, Steve? <laughs> so we'll do our best and see what comes of it. What have we got? Tubs, boxes, cylinders. The best thing I reckon that we've got, Steve, in our favour is this transparent tubing. Perfect for the monorail. There's plenty of that there. Really great. We'll give it our best shot. For some reference, we've got a fantastic old book we've had for years and years called Fantastic Worlds, a Starlog photo guidebook. And there's a great picture there of the city. And recently picked up the soundtrack CD as well. And there's a great picture on the back showing a different view of the city. And of course we've got the film itself. So that's our mission. Let's see how we get on with it. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. We can do this. <laughs> We've just started to lay out the sort of pattern for the foundation of the city. With pieces of 10 mil plywood and some blue plastic for the water. So you can see the size that it will be. It's around about 6 feet long by 4 feet wide. Thank you. 
We made most of the buildings using breakfast cereal packets by carefully cutting them and finding the shapes and curves that we needed by trial and error. They are very difficult of course because they are very futuristic shapes, not standard at all. So by cutting the shapes down uh, we were able to divide up the buildings as you know in, in the film each each of the tower blocks is in four sections with gaps between the sections very difficult shapes indeed use lots of masking tape, lots of PVA glue and by trial and error finally got the shapes but they still probably aren't perfect but they have the look Interestingly, the insides you can see a sort of funnel shape. So I suppose somebody who's interested in uh, geometric shapes and all this kind of thing would be able to tell us exactly what they are. But for us, they're just uh, done by hand, by trial and error. Once they were ready. Then we prepared some sort of uh, shiny metallic card from a stationery shop and cut them into the uh, shapes for the sort of facades on the buildings, the mirror, mirror, mirror like, Ooh. like the window the sections, mirror. glassy tower blocks, but of course very curved. Then we moved on to the other buildings which are sort of uh, again very curvy almost like stadiums and there's three of those so we just cut stiff card and then used um, paper templates and uh, again whatever kind of card we could get our hands on to cut and glue together. And once these buildings were built, then we painted them up with uh, just sort of thick emulsion paint. Other buildings have got a very shiny metallic covering on them. And all these little golden pyramids, just use cardboard boxes to make those, very simple. Again, not strictly accurate. Sandman's headquarters is a bunch of empty DVD boxes and gradually the thing started to take shape working on the city bit by bit piece by piece using the various bits of junk of course we had to have lots of scale people and being so tiny like this it was hard to figure out what to use so we used little jewellery beads just a few millimetres high each one representing a person Probably the most difficult thing of the whole lot was the monorail, which is a transparent tubing. Um, we found some from a garden centre and we used lots of Coca-Cola bottles all cut down uh, and put into tight cylinders with glue for the support columns. But it was very hard because the hose that we got, of course, is very flexible, which is good for curves but not so good for straights. So if ever we were able to get our hands on some strong... Uh, straight sections of transparent tubing which is about the right thickness then we might do the thing again but all, all in all very satisfying project and very evocative of the film itself the fantastic model they, that they built to make the film with so thanks for watching <laughs>